On July 21, 2010, the President signed the Dodd-Frank Wall Street Reform and Consumer Protection Act, which in part made permanent the increase in the basic insurance limit from $100,000 to $250,000. This is really significant because the insurance amount, which was raised temporarily to $250,000 in October 2008, was scheduled to return to $100,000 on January 1, 2014. So now, depositors with more than $100,000 but less than $250,000 in one insured bank do not have to worry that some of their funds might become uninsured if they have a certificate of deposit that does not mature until 2014 or after. For depositors, the most important point to understand is that if you or your family have less than $250,000 in all your deposit accounts at the same insured institution, you do not need to worry about your insurance coverage. Your funds are fully protected. That's an excellent question. There are ways that depositors can have more than the basic insurance limit of $250,000 at one FDIC insured bank. Additional coverage is available if your deposit accounts are in different account ownership categories. There are four account ownership categories that are most commonly used by individuals and families. These are single accounts, accounts opened by one person, certain retirement accounts, the most popular type being individual retirement account, joint accounts, accounts opened by two or more persons, and revocable trust accounts, more commonly known as payable on death or living trust accounts, where the owner or owner's intention is to leave the funds to one or more beneficiaries upon the owner's death. A depositor can have up to $250,000 in coverage in each of these account ownership categories because each category is insured separately.